We may not be living on Mars or traveling on jetpacks, but there's no doubt that the next decade will bring many exciting technological advances. In this video, I would like to summarize the basic technology trend that I believe will shape the future. Sometimes new future technologies can offer amazing development, with the possibility of changing the future, while also being incredibly creepy. This is one way to describe the idea of necrobotics which, as the name suggests, involves turning dead things into robots. While this sounds like a plot to a creepy horror film, this is a technology being explored at Rice University. A team of researchers turned a dead spider into a robot-like gripper, given the ability to pick up other objects. To achieve this, they take a spider and inject it with air. This works because spiders use hydraulics to force their version of blood, hemolymph, into their limbs, making them extend. Right now this concept is in its infant stages, but it could mean a future where dead animals are used to further science. It all feels very Frankenstein-like. Not every technology bettering our future has to be complicated, some are simple, yet extremely effective. One of these kind of technologies has come from some Finnish engineers who have found a way to turn sand into a giant battery. These engineers piled 100 tons of sand into a 4 by 7 meter steel container. All of this sand was then heated up using wind and solar energy. This heat can then be distributed by a local energy company to provide warmth to buildings in nearby areas. Energy can be stored this way for long periods of time. All of this occurs through a concept known as resistive heating. This is where a material is heated by the friction of electrical currents. Sand and any other non-superconductor are warmed by the electricity passing through them generated heat then can be used for energy. While modern technology allows us to communicate verbally and visually almost anywhere in the world, there is currently no reliable method of sharing the sense of touch across long distances. Now, a wireless soft e-skin developed by engineers at the City University of Hong Kong could one day make giving and receiving hugs over the internet a reality. The e-skin is studded with flexible actuators that sense the wearer's movements and convert them into electrical signals. These signals can then be sent to another e-skin system via Bluetooth, where the actuators convert them into mechanical vibrations that mimic the initial movements. The system could be used to allow friends and family to feel each other over long distances, the researchers say. Researchers at the City University of Hong Kong, City U, recently invented what they're calling a novel, wireless, skin interface edulfatory feedback system. In other words, VR attachments that let you smell stuff. The smells are generated by the device's heating and melting odorous wax that releases adjustable concentrations of stink. There are two versions of this tech. One is mounted on your upper lip for easy access to your nostrils, and the other is a face mask-like design with hundreds of different odor combinations. The university said their new tech has a broad range of applications that includes online teaching and 4D movie watching. That's right, in the future, you'll not only be able to watch your favorite movies in VR, you'll also be able to smell them. Now that's immersion. Who would have thought the best way to get satellites into space was with a makeshift catapult? Okay, it is a lot smarter than a catapult, but the technology exists in a similar way. Spin Launch is a prototype system for getting satellites or other payloads up into space. It does this by using kinetic energy instead of the usual technique of using chemical fuel found in traditional rockets. This technology could be capable of spinning payloads at 8,000 km per hour and 10,000 g then launching them skyward through a large launch tube. Of course, small rocket engines will still be required for payloads to reach orbit, but Spin Launch has claimed this system cuts down on the fuel and infrastructure by an impressive 70%. The company has signed an agreement with NASA and is now testing the system. Inserting the heart of a pig into a human feels like a bad idea, and yet, this is one of the latest medical procedures that is seeing rapid progress. Xenotransplantation, the procedure of transplanting, implementing or infusing a human with cells, tissues or organs from an animal source, has the potential to revolutionize surgery. One of the most common procedures performed so far is the insertion of a pig's heart into a human. This has now successfully happened twice. However, one of the patients was only alive for a few months, and the second is still being observed. In these surgeries, the heart cannot be instantly put into a human. Gene editing needs to take place first. 
certain genes need to be knocked out of the heart and human genes need to be added, mainly around immune acceptance and genes to prevent excessive growth of heart tissue. Right now, these surgeries are risky and there is no certainty around success. However, in the near future, we could see xenotransplants happening on a regular basis, providing hearts or tissues from animals to humans in need of it. As artificial intelligence continues to perform jobs just as well as humans, there is a new industry to add to the list, the world of art. Researchers at the company OpenAI have created a software that is able to create images from just worded prompts. Type in a dog wearing a cowboy hat singing in the rain and you'll get a host of completely original images that fit that description. You can even choose what style of art your request will come back in. However, the technology isn't perfected and still has issues, like when we gave it poor prompts on designing cartoon characters. This technology known as Dolly is now its second iteration and the team behind it plans to continue developing it further. In the future, we could see this technology used to create art exhibitions, for companies to get quick, original illustrations or of course, to revolutionize the way we create memes on the internet. There's also technology known as Midjourney, a AI image generator that creates gothic masterpieces with a simple text prompt. We are truly living in the future. No longer a science fiction trope, the use of brain reading technology has improved hugely in recent years. One of the most interesting and practical uses we've seen tested so far comes from researchers at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology Lausanne, EPFL. Thanks to a machine learning algorithm, a robot arm and a brain-computer interface, these researchers have managed to create a means for tetraplegic patients, those who can't move their upper or lower body, to interact with the world. In tests, the robot arm would perform simple tasks like moving around an obstacle. The algorithm would then interpret signals from the brain using an EEG cap and automatically determine when the arm had made a move that the brain considered incorrect, for example moving too close to the obstacle or going too fast. Over time the algorithm can then adjust to the individual's preferences and brain signals. In the future this could lead to wheelchairs controlled by the brain or assistance machines for tetraplegic patients. 3D printing is an industry promising everything from cheap house building through to affordable rugged armor, but one of the most interesting uses of the technology is the building of 3D printed bones. The company Ossiform specializes in medical 3D printing, creating patient-specific replacements of different bones from tricalcium phosphate, a material with similar properties to human bones. Using these 3D printed bones is surprisingly easy. A hospital can perform an MRI which is then sent to Ossiform who create a 3D model of the patient-specific implant that is needed. The surgeon accepts the design and then once it is printed, it can be used in surgery. What is special about these 3D printed bones is that because of the use of tricalcium phosphate, the body will remodel the implants into vascularized bone. That means they will enable the full restoration of function that the bone it is replacing had. To achieve the best integration possible, the implants are of a porous structure and feature large pores and canals for cells to attach to end. What's for dinner tonight? Soon it could be a piece of 3D printed, laser cooked cake. Researchers at Columbia University School of Engineering have created a device that can construct a seven ingredient cheesecake using food inks and then cook it to perfection using a laser. Their creation contained banana, jam, peanut butter, and Nutella. Tasty. The technology could one day be used to create personalized meals for everyone from professional athletes to patients with dietary conditions, or could be useful for those who are simply short on time.